Ah, ah, yes, hello, welcome, uh, Cleese here, stand by for orientation. Now, let's see you, just a moment, I had it a minute ago, ah, here we are. Welcome to the end of the universe. Oh, don't look so glum. Nothing lasts forever, you know. As science tells us, all those billions upon billions of stars are bound to burn out someday. What science didn't tell us, of course, was that some damnable dark force would be accelerating the process, dragging the remaining systems screaming into the void. Thanks, science. Way to be on the ball with that. So. Here we are, the end of all things. One star still burning, and anyone, anything that's still alive, they've gathered here. The last star, Solus. And that's where you come in, my dear fellows. You're our last hope. 25 of the bravest, strongest, strangest, and still alivest battle-born the universe has ever seen. A plus for surviving the end of all things. But now, the real challenge begins. Well, before we fit you for battle, you'd probably like to know what you're in for. Let's take a look at a recent excursion to the frozen hellscape of Bliss and the five battleborn who led the charge. First is Thor, capable, courageous, and quite pissed about the loss of her homeworld to the Varelsi. You might think a bow insufficient for a fiery march of vengeance. And in most cases, you'd be right. But this Eldred Ranger is a different story. A painful story. Look, just, just don't make fun of her bow. I'm speaking from experience. Oscar Mike, a UPR clone soldier left over from the long forgotten war. He outlived his brethren through deft use of his armament. Heavily augmentable assault rifle, airstrike capability, vicious frag grenades, and a nifty bit of stealth cloak technology. I'm sure he may sound like a lunatic, but he's our lunatic. Uh, and an effective one. Phoebe is one of the last Light Consortium's greatest engineers. Next to yours truly, of course. She wields an array of sabers held aloft by tech of her own design. Not as elegant as some of my designs. Then again, she can teleport and call down storms of swords. So I tend to keep my notes to myself. Much safer that way. Where do I start with Orendi? She's, uh, well, she, she has lots of arms. That much is clear. She's also one of the fastest, most lethal fighters in Solus, utilizing her incredible speed and bursts of chaotic energy to cut down any that stand in a Oh, seven hells, that's disgusting. Uh, moving the hell on. Caldarius may slice, dice, and puree his foes, but don't let the look fool you. He's much more than a sentient blender. His GTX assault frame and jump pack grant him incredible mobility in aerial combat, which pairs rather nicely with his reckless disregard for his own safety. Thanks, Caldarius. Your death wish is appreciated. They're formidable enough on their own, but together, these five Battleborn achieved a victory that delayed the potentially inevitable death of the last star by... Uh, uh, ten to one. Uh, six hours. That's... well, it's not nothing, eh?
two, three, done! Weapons, 
Online. Sensors online. Death preservation protocols. Suspiciously absent. <laughs> Cognitive functions. Oh, he's fine. Notice the handsome doomsday device I've mounted on the back. That will provide the sufficient levels of kaboom we need to collapse the Varelsi breach for good. If we can get it there in one piece. Mr. High was born combat.
That's a door! You're talking about a door, you blasted thing! Engaging hacking laser. Ah! Well, whatever works, I suppose. <laughs> Damn! Loads of Ferelsi coming your way! Keep them off the scent! Rush into battle. Allow me to introduce a few more of our crew. The gentleman sniper, Marquis de Caliber. Precise, deadly, and like most of the AIs inhabiting Solus these days, absolutely batshit insane. Wages class warfare with his collapsible cane rifle, Bindlebay. And a robotic owl named Houdini. Oh, how precious. Ah, wrath. The generate swords. This handsome vampire is an absolutely ferocious opponent in close quarters combat. Eh? What's that? Oh, well, I've just been informed that he is not indeed a vampire, thus invalidating all of my Wrath fanfiction. Oh well, the mountainous and biologically improbable Montana has a rather impressive pair of guns, as well as a minigun. Ha! Muscle joke! <laughs> Oh, yes, we're all about to die. Uh, my apologies. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, fire bullets, ice bullets, uh, something he calls man's formation. Uh, universe's deadliest finger. Moving on, the sheet here says combat botanist. But that hardly summarizes Miko. One of the stranger members of our crew. This sentient mushroom person <laughs> throws knives, uh, fungus, and uh, even its own head. To heal the others, you see. Quite altruistic, which is apparently a thing with mushroom people. Well, I don't know. I only know the one. And then there's Boulder, the very incarnation of rage. Now, in a fun size, Boulder blocks all manner of attack with his shield. 
deals devastating damage with his runic axe and fits easily in most overhead storage bins. Always at home on the battlefield, Boulder is... Yes, that's lovely. Good for you, Boulder. Ah, just wait until you meet Benedict. His feathers will be so ruffled. And Isaac, such spirit, that one. A truly magnificent construct. Ah, such wonder. It's almost enough to make an old man... Gasp! Oh, proximity alarm! The Varelsi are here! There's no time to spare! Quickly, get out there! You'll meet the others later. I assure you, there'll be plenty of battles to come.